What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to remove the original shock from a 1969 C10. So from the factory these have a pin kind of integrated into the shock and it goes over into the frame and there's a nut. Um, when you replace the shock you're probably going to install a stud like this into the frame so that you know you have kind of removability but uh, that's for a different video. I'm just showing you removal. First things first, the bottom nut and bolt are 3 quarters inch. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. <laughs> Neat. Now let's go to the other side of the frame and get this pin out. So the nut on the other side of the pin is 15 16 of an inch and you're going to want to use a breaker bar because it's on there at I think 140 foot pounds. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and break this loose. Alright I broke the nut loose and then took it out the rest of the way with a uh, ratcheting wrench. Now it should just come right out. Nice there you go. And again, when replacing this, you're going to use something of this nature where you stick this in and then torque this nut on to 140 foot pounds and then you can just slip your shock on right here. So yeah, I just uh, made this little video because everyone else I know and on YouTube that I've seen, I think they have or they don't have original shocks. They were just able to undo a nut right here not the factory pin situation that's going on for me so yep next up I'm going to show you how to remove original ball joints